Hey, hey, what's going on? It's Johanna Hunt here, back for another episode of JHTV. Today, we're gonna talk about five income streams that you can incorporate within your brands or income streams that you can choose to get started with if you're looking for a way to make money in the online space. Um, so this is one of my favorite topics. I've been a big fan of multiple streams of income for over the last decade when I picked up a couple of books and started to learn about how to set myself financially free and also give myself the time freedom to work smarter and play harder. And some of these I actually stumbled across by accident and some of them I grew into as my brand started to grow. So a little background on me, I got started in the direct sales space coming out of the event planning world in 2011. And I thought I was joining an e-commerce business. So because the training that I was receiving in that direct sales business was not what I was expecting, I started to go out and I started to look for ways to build an online income. And I was reading these books already about passive income streams and multiple income streams and modeling what wealthy people were doing so I could start to create that and build that for myself. So, you know, at that time, having multiple income streams is more of a luxury. Now it's a necessity. Okay. You need to have a plan B and C and D and E, <laughs> but I don't recommend that you try and build all of these at one time. Like every single one of these has a learning curve. And I'm going to start with, uh, I'll actually start with the most simple one to get started and share with you a little bit about how I went through the journey of adding and incorporating these in, um, to my business model. Um, and in a way where it aligned for my business and my brand, but also served my audience on a larger scale, but it was very congruent with the end goal of helping them reach their goals, right? And the transformations that they wanted to have. So, like I said, I got started in the traditional network marketing direct sales space. I took that business online. The model was old. Um, and it wasn't something that could be completely transitioned into the online space and duplicatable. So six years later, um, I decided to make a transition, but in the time where I was actually learning about these ways of building online and these multiple income streams and taking courses and things like that, I stumbled across affiliate marketing and I didn't realize that, I mean, I've been doing affiliate marketing my whole life, right? It's where you get a kickback for referring something. So when was the last time you went to see a movie, you went to see a rest, you know, you went to a great restaurant, um, you used a product and you told your friend about it. So for me, it was courses that I was taking um, through people who had helped me in the online space with social media, with blogging, and they had affiliate programs. They had they were offering a kickback for me referring their programs to other people, which was amazing because people started to notice my growth and notice what I was doing and were like, well, what are you doing? How are you doing that? Um, can you coach me? And I was like, well, I'm not a coach and I don't have courses and I don't have time because I'm building this other business, but I can recommend and I can share with you exactly what courses I use that were really helpful for me in getting started. And so that's how I got started in affiliate marketing. And I'll never forget the first day I got that PayPal notification that I had made $6 um, from a complete stranger where they had clicked on a link inside of my blog. And I thought that was just absolutely fantastic. The, the best $6 I'd ever made in my life, right? Because I wasn't there to facilitate it. So that's affiliate marketing. Um, that is where you refer other people's products um, that they've created. These can be uh, actual products uh, physical products, they can be digital products as well, courses, services, things like that. And, you know, affiliate marketing, you're actually in that world all the time, right? Like if you use Uber, um, you get an affiliated link to click on, uh, that will, you can send to somebody and give them money off and then you will receive a kickback, but only to use towards that service. So it's a little bit different but that's essentially how it works right or if you use instacart it's the same thing then you get a credit towards your instacart um, but in most affiliate marketing programs and some companies actually design and model um, they create affiliate programs that are specifically designed to teach and train you how to market their programs 
and then they will give you usually it's between 25 and 30 percent sometimes 50 percent most of them don't pay more than 50 percent um most of them don't actually even pay 50 percent most of them, and, and definitely not 100 percent. very very few so that's affiliate marketing so as i got started with affiliate marketing i was ready to not to walk away from network marketing completely because I wasn't really happy with the model that I was in. There was a lot of things that just felt icky to me. But the thing with affiliate marketing is once you make a sale, that's it. It's like a one-time sale, right? There's no residual income. So yes, you can make the passive income, but you're not making a residual income. So I came across a couple of mentors in the online space who were crushing it with network marketing. And I actually met them through an affiliate program. I watched some of their videos and I loved that they had taken network marketing, but they had completely transformed the model and the way they were doing business. And so that's how I came into social retail. And so that has become my main income stream. And what I love about social retail is that it's that affiliate model but you're actually able to make passive income and you're able to make residual income and all the training is included with it and it's very simple so you're affiliating you're recommending a product you're also recommending an opportunity but you're paid the most on the product that you recommend and you don't actually have to recruit people in order to make an income and there's your your income isn't based on that it's also not affected by whether or not you build a team and so social retail, what I love is that I can get somebody started very quickly and I can have them making money in the same day, which is really amazing for the economy that we're coming into. The other thing I love about it is that we have a, a consumable product, right? So it's a product that people use, they consume, it's a product that they need, and then they use it month after month after month. Okay, so I do that work once and I'm passively making residual income on that sale, that work that I did, right? Of course, there's customer service and stuff like that, but that's the beauty of social retail. They pay really well. Okay, so just on the product side alone, you can make 36% commissions. I have women on my team doing upwards of 9,000 to 15,000 in personal product sales per month all online, and they're making 36% commissions on that plus bonuses and overrides and um and earning product and not it's not costing them anything to do business right um, and all the systems are in place and i don't actually have to personally train them i plug them into our training platform and then they learn and and grow and um plug into that and take action so that's amazing right okay so then I had more people starting to come to me from other network marketing companies, from other affiliate programs, people noticing me in the online space, asking me to start sharing with them, picking my brain and saying, how, you know, how are you doing this? How did you do this? So I started to break it down. I started to create content, videos like this, uh, Facebook lives, posts, stories. And I started to um, share on a, on a larger scale because I had too many people and I couldn't answer all those people's questions and also run my business at the same time, right? And so then people were getting little snippets here and there, but they were, they were like, well, can you just coach me? Can you coach me through it? Can I pay you to coach me? And I was like, well, I wanna work smarter, not, you know, not harder. I wanna work smart so I can play hard. What, how, do, how can I do this, right? And still have that time freedom. And so that's why I created my first, I actually created a small course when I built up my Instagram um, I created a five-day course just to test out the audience and see if they liked it because that's what a lot of people were asking me about um, and that took off and so then I started creating these little mini courses and these little offers and then I created a course to teach network marketers home business owners and affiliate marketers how to build a business from like the whole blueprint right and that's something that sells on autopilot um, as they come into my system and they get the full blueprint of everything that they need to know like how to create content how to position themselves how to optimize their social media uh, how to talk to people um, my systems everything right so now when somebody wants to coach with me 
they can plug into that, they get lifetime access, and now I have another income stream. So courses is amazing. You could also integrate coaching. You could do one-on-one -on -one coaching, you could do group coaching, you can do teaching. Take the skill that you currently have or whatever you built your business in um, and start to teach people how to build a business like you did. Um, and there's lots of different people doing that in lots of different niches. So that's a really great one too, especially if you've already built the audience, you've already built the credibility, you've already built your business solid, and you know that you get results from it, and you know you can help other people get results, then you can create a course or coaching program. So of course you could do creations as well. That's the fourth income stream that you can create. Um, and you know that is different types of products that you can create, personal care products, um, art, um, digital products, uh, you know, people will do principles, um, journals, planners, there's lots of different things, right? If you have something that you, jewelry, lots of different types of creations, things you can sell online and there's, uh, different platforms like Etsy, um, or you can create your own store, you know, through Facebook, you can create your own store through Instagram now. I mean, it has just completely evolved and changed over the last few years from when I got started. There's so many ways that I don't even know about anymore. But I like to keep it basic and simple and I like to drive everything back over to my blog. I like to have everything in one place. And I own my blog, right? I don't own Instagram, I don't own Facebook, I don't own YouTube. Um, so I like to keep everything in my, in my place and I don't like to use any of those websites like Wix or Etsy or Kajabi or anything like that. I use my own membership sites uh, because I have ownership over them, right? So I have more control and I like to have that that sense of security in the online space with my business. So that's number four, creations. And then number five is being a virtual assistant or offering services. So you could write content for people. You can build out landing pages, you could do social media work, you could, uh, you know, you can go to Fiverr, you can go to Upwork, you can go into virtual assistant sites on Facebook. And basically you are the person that a business owner will outsource their busy work to. Um, video editing, creating images on Canva. Is there something that you're really good at? A service that you can offer to entrepreneurs in the space who are busy, and they need help with different aspects of their business. And you can take on multiple clients that way. You could have, um, you know, your own sort of consulting business, or you can go to, like I said, Fiverr or Upwork or one of these outsourcing platforms and you can list um, a little por a profile on there of, of who you are and what you do and some examples of your work. And people can come over and they can click on that and they can order your work and have it done for them and then you can do it for them and that's a really easy way to get started uh, with a work from home in the online space um, type of business and something that is you know pretty low risk and you don't need to put a business plan together or anything like that and that's the great thing about all of these is that you don't really have to have a solid business plan in place to create any of these not anymore not the way the online system and the online space is set up i will tell you affiliate marketing social retail these are lower end risk um they're lower end investment as well typically some affiliate programs can be quite high but all in all it's low risk basically you're marketing you're marketing somebody else's product it's as simple as that right so you don't have to do research and development of products. You don't have to drop ship. You don't have to um, go through the legalities or anything like that. Um, so that's very simple. With coaching and courses, you have a little bit more liability. You have a lot more creative work on the upfront, but then you also need to know how to sell your, your programs, right? <clears throat> you need to have systems in place in order to do that. Uh, and be good at sales, especially because these are usually higher ticket items. And so there's a lot of testing that goes into this as well and a lot of tweaking involved in creating your own stuff, right? Whereas social retail and affiliate, a lot of that stuff has already been tweaked and tested for you, right? It's all ready to market. So coaching and courses, they can be residual. Mm, no, not really. <laughs> once you sell a course, once you sell coaching, it's not so much residual. Yes, you can have a client 
who will purchase multiple coaching courses and re-enroll with you. Um, depending on how you set it up, courses are passive, coaching typically active, right? Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or group, you're still doing active coaching. You're, you need to be somewhere at a specific time uh, based on somebody else's schedule. Um, creations is something where typically that's going to be, you could do it passively, but that's not going to be a residual. Like once somebody buys that product, that's it. They're not going to buy it again. Right. Um, and then virtual assistant that is depending on how you package it, you're still exchanging time for money. Um, and you may have a client who works with you consistently. So it's, it can be residual if, if they're locked into some sort of program or membership with you but oftentimes that's not gonna be passive, right? That's gonna be something that you have to do um, time for money, okay? So those are the five ways. I'm gonna leave some links for you down in the description box below, and I'm gonna show you um, a couple of the services that I offer. I will leave a link to, if you want to learn more about how to get started in social retail. If you're just getting started in the, in the online space and you want that low risk, that high touch training to get you started, uh, so that you can start building something out and start making money right now. And then you want to branch out into these other ones. I'll leave a link for that and I'll leave a link to my membership site. So if you're interested in courses, if you are already currently partnered up with a company, but you have no idea how to get started or how to grow your social media presence um, or build your business just 100% on social media so that you've got that location independence and that time freedom. Um, or if you just want to scope it out and see what that looks like, I will leave that there for you as well in the description box. And I think that is it. <laughs> I hope you got some value from this. I know that's a lot. If you have any questions about any one of these, you can drop them in the comments below. You can send me a personal message on Facebook. I'm happy to answer those. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, share it out, share the broadcast. Um, and hit that subscribe button if you love training like this and you can hit that little bell button and get notified every time I have a new video, which is Mondays, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, we, I release a new episode of JHTV. So I will see you next week. Thanks for joining me.